Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marion and we are talking about a new battery today and a new Tesla patent. And as we are all know, Tesla is improving in any area as they can. So they are improving in the body shop, in the paint shop, in the production line, at the Giga Presses. Technology and improvements in the production have always succeeded in the past and we have seen that in the recent earnings call with the numbers of a yeah margin of 28 percent for the car business so it is all paying off guys and i think it's just a question of time till we are at a margin of over 30 percent and so we are looking at the new tesla pattern here that will allow tesla to work with aluminum alloy structural components which is making the car much more tough and it's especially interesting as well for the Cybertruck. I don't think that they will manage to get it done um, in the first version of the um, Cybertruck but maybe later on in an updated version that might come in a few years. So they are working on this technique to get this uh, aluminum alloy um, yeah, really hard component to make the car much more, yeah, mu give the car much more strength. And the good thing about it is, um, or the, the, the bad thing is, um, it costs a lot of energy. And this is, um, yeah, really cost um, intensive when you want to do that. And um, because you need to take a lot of heat to make this product perfect. And this means um, Tesla has tried to make a new patent here or does a new patent because they want to do that without the heat. So they want to do it without this entire energy that is needed to make this product perfect. So if they would be able to do that, they would have another um, production um, part that would be more efficient. Uh, it would work much better and at the end of the day the cars Tesla is producing would get much cheaper and much more strength. So this is um, this is really important. Not only strength but as well safety. So um, really looking forward for any updates in the future. Um, it might take some time. It can get a bit take a bit longer than um, we are all expecting. Um, but I'm looking forward to, to the update um, when they will actually do that in the production line. The next topic is even more important. It is about batteries. So now we do know that Tesla is working with CATL in China and CATL is the second biggest uh, battery supplier in the world. And so what they have presented is a new battery. <clears throat> so the new battery um, has not as much um, energy density as the LFP batteries. Um, but we are talking here about um, sodium ion battery and it is an alternative to the lithium ion cells. And the really good part here is you have really fast charging. Um, you have advantages in low temperature performance. Um, you have environmental adaptability and you are more cost effective than the lithium ion batteries. And not only that is an advantage, furthermore, it is not having um, all the ingredients that we are currently having. It doesn't contain any cobalt, it doesn't contain any nickel, and it's supposed to have no lithium inside as well. So that would be a major, major step forward to cheaper cars. And um, we do know that there is kind of a coincidence here because we have all talked about the 25k car coming in china by 2023 and the coincidence here is 2023 the new battery will be launched from catl so that could be a major step towards a 25k car if they can achieve what they are promising the only disadvantage is as i said the energy density which is sitting at 160 watt hours per kilogram um, they are aiming to get 200 and above as a comparison the 285 lithium iron cells or the lithium iron cells do have 285 hours per kilowatt. So there's kind of a difference when it comes to comes to the energy density but um, CATL said that they want to try to 
um, make that away like this disadvantages through other advantages of the battery so we have to see how good the performance will be again this will also take some time in the next yeah 12 15 months till they will achieve um, a production here but once this is launched guys we could see a major advantage for tesla here not only for the stock and i'm not sure if the stock reacted to that yesterday because the stock went up uh, massively and we have seen that and some people said it was because of this news from catl but again i'm not sure if it was that news i think it could have been a positive reaction towards the result that we have seen so we could have this new battery if it is really coming by 2023 right at the gate when tesla is planning to bring the new model 2 or however it's going to be called out so that could be a major major advantage for tesla as they have expanded the contract with catl till 2025 and i'm pretty sure that tesla will try to get an advantage um, that they will receive those kind of batteries first so really really exciting news and as we are looking at austin we also know that the new battery cells that tesla is working on um, just need another 10 percent to succeed um, it's just technology issues that they have to work on no science issues as elon said and so we will have to um, see if they manage to finish those um, challenges that they have with the new battery cells by um, autumn so that we can see a battery cell production happening here in austin so the model y can be produced we do know that elon said there are backup plans if that's not um, going to happen on time and there are a lot of people out there really thinking well is tesla really gonna manage to get the new battery cell working in the next few months so the pressure right now when it comes to pressure um, tesla has actually a lot of pressure but i think they are really really living up to their game the only disadvantage that could happen in the next few months is a delay of the new battery cells so we have to look at that um, otherwise i'm really really bullish i mean um, batteries are not the concern here i think it's getting better and better and tesla has great really great relationships with panasonic lg and then catl and then they do have their own battery cells so i mean honestly tesla is really into it when it comes to the um, supply chain and what they are planning to do in the next few years and i think that is a big advantage to all the competitors out there that tesla is really having a yeah good supply chain working very very well so if you did enjoy my video if you do enjoy my channel do consider subscribing and i would really appreciate your support so thank you very much for watching my video and i wish you all a wonderful day guys take care